Uh, we're hanging out with a lady who is uh, who rocks star power all the way from the UK. She is one of the best comedians on the scene, having featured on many BBC shows, including um, being part of the UK TV show Kings of Comedy. And this week, she's in our country performing at the Cape Town Comedy Club tomorrow night. Her name, Ava Vidal. Good to have you here for the first time on Expresso. Thank you for having me. And uh, you were saying you were so surprised because you thought you were just like coming in for a short little interview. Like, yeah. we'll be done. No, we <laughs> have yeah, you the here. Whole morning. The whole morning. <laughs> But let's start off uh, talking about your story and how you made it onto the comedy scene because it's a very interesting story. You you were first a prison what a, prison guard? Yeah. Prison. Wow. Yeah. Just tell us how how did that happen? Um, I actually wanted to be a writer, um, so I was doing. I was at the prison. I was at university as well, mm -hmm. and um, had a young child, and I wanted to be a writer. And it was quite hard to get into writing back then. Like the internet wasn't sort of up and go, so you had to write to agents and then you had to go through script editors and I couldn't be bothered. So I just thought I'd do comedy because it's just an instant. And also you might you might not have had enough like a lot of times, you know, kind no. of being a prison guard and then That's writing true. at the same time. Yeah. That's very interesting. <laughs> right. Now, this is not your first time that you're in Cape Town. You've actually yeah. been here multiple times. What keeps bringing you back? Um, I keep coming to South Africa. I really like it here. I like the I like the people here, I like the vibe here. I think it's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we also like to, to do a lot of comparison to see where we are in the world. You've travelled to Canada, to America, all over the world with yeah. your comedy. How do you rate our comedy scene here? I think it's really good. Yeah. It's getting better and better. I mean, Trevor Noah's taken over The Daily Show. That's huge, right? Yeah. And I was uh, working with Trevor in 2010. We were at Baxter um, when he was discovered. When he was... Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell us the conversation you might have had with him that day. Uh, did, did you guys actually interact at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known Trevor since I first started coming here. Yeah. So yeah, it was. Um, he always was going to be something, but I mean, he's obsessed, isn't he, with comedy? I think I remember once he was saying that if stand up comedy was a woman, he'd marry it. <laughs> you need to get out more, Trev. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Bim. Shade. Like, yeah, no, he, he lo he's obsessed with it, though. He's obsessed with the, like, the rhythm of the jokes and how to write, so he's always going to be something absolutely massive. Yeah. So I'm really, really pleased. I hope it opens doors. Have you touched base with him mm. while he's there saying, hey, yo, Trev, listen, remember that time <laughs> no. when back then? You must do that. It I'm might sure he doesn't remember me. No, oh, I'm joking. I, I highly <laughs> doubt that. Now, um, you are performing tomorrow night at the Cape Town Comedy yeah. Club. Are you going to incorporate some local humour, mm. some of our local culture? I mean, some current events, for example, is the Roads Must Fall movement. Yeah. Um, I always do when I come here. I always talk about the politics here and stuff like that. So... I have like a South African based stuff, so I, I keep up with it. Yeah, Roads Must Fall is really interesting. It's um, quite controversial in England. I don't even know why it's controversial. I really don't get it. It's <laughs> like, why do you want a statue of a racist pedo? Like, why? Why? It's, I guess it's a it's conversation just, that could, yeah. Yeah, I don't. It's really. The guys who are, there's South African, um, I really forget his name, that's terrible of me. There's a South African student, Oxford law student, he's, he's amazing. He's just doing all these interviews. He's just absolutely slamming them at every single point. I mean, I think the argument against it is so stupid. They're saying, why would you take money from a Cecil Rhodes scholarship then if you don't want his statue? You're like, please. You know, that's our ancestors' money. We will take it. <laughs> Boom! That's just... <laughs> but listen, OK, we're looking forward to see... I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see you tomorrow at the Cape Town uh, Comedy Club. And I hope that you enjoy your stay. I mean, you're leaving on, on Friday morning already, right? I have to. It's the last day. I, I, I can't fly after Sunday. Oh, my goodness. Have you decided so, on the baby name yet? Let's ask that. Yeah, she's called Mion. Mion. We call her Mimi, for Mimi. sure. Mimi. Mimi Zay. Mimi. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully when Mimi's old enough, you can bring her into our Expresso Studios one day. Thank you very, very much for being here. I will. I will leave here. her here. <laughs> leave her here. Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, so catch, of course, Eva Vidal performing tomorrow at the Cape Town Comedy Club. It starts at 8 o'clock in the evening. But right now, of course, all of the excitement is about the upcoming Super Rugby season. And Graham's got a very special guest.